So how are we gonna intro this? I got this. I got this one. <clears throat> I'll put my phone away. Hi, didn't see you there. Oh hello. Welcome all. This God, that is, is awful. No. <laughs> hey, and welcome to the Commuters Podcast. This is uh Will, Sky, and Will. Yeah, that's how we start it. Oh hi. <laughs> For those of you who are just joining us, this is the Commuters Podcast, and it is a podcast about commuting. So if you like cars and long rides, well, then you found the podcast for you. Dude, I hate this. Well, I don't know if I can really keep up with the long ride metric. Maybe, like, frequent stops with 30-minute breaks in between. Yeah, I don't have the stamina. I have diarrhea. So. I don't have the stamina. We're talking about Avengers Endgame. Um, uh, we realize that it's not the most relevant thing right now, but Spider-Man's coming out, so Disney can... Pay I'll show you a real um, So we thought it would be a good idea to talk about whether or not Spider-Man is of the legal consensual age to buy alcohol or if technically what? he was now born five years into the future. That is the what? thing that we can get into. That is no. correct. Um, but actually, let's just start. Uh, so we've all we've all seen the movie. Unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. What? what? I, what? I, I mean... So uh, you'll, you'll some learn ways. throughout this who to hate and who to like. Um, <laughs> of course, if you're paid by Disney, which we're all owned by Disney, obviously. Hashtag sponsored by Disney. Um, Fear the mouse. Oh, but, uh, I didn't know we'd go so far down. In the hole already. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just go. We just you know, started. I'm just going to start, and I'm just going to say what I thought. I will let's start over A pretty... Again. No, no. Well, <laughs> we're going to keep powering through this, okay? How about, uh, good morning, fellow moviegoers, and... No. It shouldn't be too, like, formal. formal. No, but mm -hmm. we still have to be, like, tell them what the name is and stuff. Um, I we said, are the commuters. No, that's worse. Oh, shit, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is this recording Let's now? just be like... Yeah, it's recording, but let's just be like, um... This is the Commuters Podcast. We talk about movies, sometimes games. We mo mostly focus on movies, though. Uh, these are my co-hosts. Introduce yourselves, please. This is Will. Hi, I'm Retard. Okay, come on now. <laughs> All right. Sweet. This is the Commuters Podcast, a podcast where we talk about movies and sometimes games, maybe. Um, uh, I'm Basil, your host. I have three other relevant, generous, beautiful... Amazing Dude. people who aren't here, so I got stuck with these guys. Uh, introduce yourselves. Um, I'm host number one. He found me on Craigslist. I actually thought this was going to be a birthday party, so I'm uh, yeah, I'm getting paid by the hour, so it's fine. Man, you're not a very good actor for this, are you? Hmm? You're not a very good actor. He's our dad. Um, anyways, moving on. This uh, is I'm Sky. You're gonna probably hate me by the end of this. All right. Nice to meet you. Perfect. And. I was just found on the side of the street, so... Oh, um, gosh, no. <laughs> apparently, apparently our entire cast is made up of hobos and Craigslist. I mean, Pretty much. So, Craigslist. All right. Uh, so, oh. yeah, this is Will and that's Spencer. Um, uh, today, we're just talking about uh, Avengers Endgame. We're going to give our thoughts about it. Basil, um, that movie's kind of old! Said people who don't understand how relevant it's working. It only came out two months ago. Um, uh, just so remember, shut up, comments. And Disney is never old. Once again, I'm going to keep getting on that chain. Fights with more, right? um, okay. Oh, and I'm, disclaimer, if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, um, keep everybody watching. Take, take, uh, take your computer, uh, put it in the trash, mm -hmm. and burn it. Yep. Yeah, because... Wow, well, that's a hot you, take. What are you... Um, anyways. Hey, man, what if they just don't like superhero movies? Well, because that's after all, you got to watch, like, 20 to get here. Anyways. It's only about um, 48 hours. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to start... And I'm going to tell you my general thoughts about oh, the movie, the mm -hmm. film, even, Avengers Endgame. Here we go. I liked it. I thought it was very solid. Um, As a ending to a 22 movie Sega, mm -hmm. I thought it was about as good as you could possibly get um, it. Sorry, what? Sega! Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> and It was a delightful saga. It had it? its issues, yes. But overall, I thought it was a very strong movie. Um, uh, Three hours that... While dragging at some points, didn't feel like three hours, felt more like two and a half. Um, I didn't like it more than Infinity War. Thought that was a better movie. Agreed. Um, I think uh, Infinity War just kept pace a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, Endgame, it being three hours, I don't really think it needed to be. They could have cut it down to maybe about two and a half and just cut out some of the, uh, just the dry humor that held on for a couple of seconds because yeah. let's say they made 30 of those jokes that hung on for five but seconds longer than it should have i i have to disagree i mean the movie had Fortnite. it must be funny <laughs> yeah 
There's okay. definitely not 30 minutes worth of jokes, though. I mean, maybe they no. could have off like 10, maybe like 7 or 8 minutes. Or they could have Well, I'm not saying that there was... Yeah, I'm not saying there was half <laughs> an hour of that. bad jokes, just more or less half an hour of things not relevant completely to the plot. All right. Um, uh, I, I did, see, I think that overall the movie does a pretty good job of keeping everything relevant to the plot, like what's going on. There's some side stuff, but it's got a lot of characters and a lot of stuff to end. Mm -hmm. Like, if, when you're wrapping up this many things, you can't have it all be related to the same central focus. Like, you have multiple characters with multiple arcs at multiple points in their arcs, and they have to end them all. And I thought, like, yeah. it's probably as good as you're going to get Except Gamora's. It. They, uh, they kind of... Yeah, no, Gamora kind of just disappeared at the end there. That plot hey, thread man. is still dangling. In the well, there's movie. plenty hey, of... Man. They have to make their bajillions of movies. But, um... I can't wait for that Gamora standalone prequel sequel. Mm -hmm. Per yeah. sequel. Anyways, per, well, per you've sequel. been quiet. What, what did you think about the movie? Well, other than nearly passing out near the... Uh, in the middle of it when, um... Um... They, uh... Who's the archer guy? I forget his name. Uh, the white Robert, guy? Yeah, Hawkeye. Slash Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah case, thank you. Uh... Legolas. Yeah. Killed. Legolas? Oh, God. I kind of, I faded out when uh, he killed uh, Black Widow. He didn't kill her, though. He threw off the... No, he didn't. no. they were fighting they to were throw fighting each other off. Or yeah. to, th yeah. to throw themselves off. Then I she killed herself. You must have nodded out before, then. Yeah, I must have. Did you watch this movie? I did watch this movie. I woke up. Like, like, uh... You woke up? I woke up. Yes, I woke up. At Iron Man's funeral? Because you didn't miss much. No. No. Dude, I cried. I hate to say it, happened. but I agree, actually. I cried oh, when that happened, honestly. He's being sarcastic. I am. Yeah, Yeah, but I agree, though. Wait, you agree? You agree that there was nothing between All right, Scarlet's obviously. suicide and... Scarlet's? Scarlett Johansson. I mean, I just want to get oh, the monkey out of the bag right now. Right. Yeah. That final battle was flipping amazing. That was uh, it's cool, was, but man, amazing. is it pure spectacle? Yeah, but I mean, I have it's I fan have, service. I get that, but I have a lot of like issues with the fact that it does feel just kind of like we just reached that conclusion to have that fight rather than yeah. But like, it's not like they didn't yeah. earn it. They spent freaking twenty two movies earning that conclusion. I mean, we've been over. Uh, we talked about it before, like. You know, in personal talks, but like Thanos is like not as good a character. In well, no. as a result yeah. of the fact that they clearly just want to have that battle happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Thanos like it's a two different Thanos as you're dealing with. I mean, that's something where it's like I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't necessarily like it because the you, know, you couldn't have Infinity War, which I think is the superior film, without like if if Thanos somehow lived from the beginning of this movie and then just went on to be the same Thanos and still be the villain, it wouldn't make sense for the Infinity War Thanos' arc. Because it's like he completed his arc and then won and then got killed after he won. So that Thanos died the victor, which I think is more important to Infinity War. And then you do end up with this time travel kind of like, yeah, it's a convenience that Thanos could come to the future through his ship in order to have that big final battle. But it, I don't know, it's, it's a, like, I, I, I have issues with it. That was the I, biggest problem I had with Endgame was the whole convoluted time travel science that they kept drawing off of. They physically pointed out the fact that time is not linear yeah, it's in the movie. Breaking off and, different dimensions. and then they broke from that yeah. immediately to have uh, well, Captain America go back in time and then well, not immediately. But they essentially just didn't stick to their guns on yeah. it. You know, they established lore of no, that's stupid. You can't just there's not one timeline. Uh Someone forgot to tell Hulk that when they yeah. were writing the movie. The dumb thing too was like it was an, that was an easy enough one to fix. Just have mm -hmm. him like appear on the freaking platform, or or old. Have him appear old because he came back to our timeline and now, lived in the other one. Something you could argue is this: like every Captain America and every timeline did this. So it's like this isn't the Captain America from this timeline. He's from like the next timeline over. He lived in. But that kind of defeats timeline. the whole purpose of having an alternate universe if they're all just doing the exact same thing. No, but what I'm saying is like imagine here's our universe. Mm -hmm. Here's the the alternate one that Captain America went to, or well, actually let me do it like this. Here's the universe next to our universe. Here's the other universe next to our universe. Captain America went to this universe, but this Captain America did went to this universe, and this one went to this, and it just goes on. So and what on you're and on. saying is that each one did the same action. Yes. So that technically might not even be the same cap. That we feeds, it's not the same cap. It That's, feeds back would, into what I'm saying, though. That doesn't make sense in an alternate universe. 
Uh, alternate universes don't make sense at all because it's setting. just infinite. It, you literally, it's infinite realities. Infinite, you can keep going to another yeah, one. Yeah, it's infinite possibilities, but what you're claiming is that they all did the exact same well, thing. Well, at least enough think, of them did it. I think at the end of the day, like, it's still weird and it yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense. It's and a that's plot hole. It's yeah, what it's it is. Yeah. It's not game-breaking for me. Uh, you know, it's not going to ruin Endgame for me, but it's something that I noticed and just yeah. kind of left a bad taste in my mouth of specific... I wouldn't have a problem with it if they didn't make such a big deal in the early about stages the of the movie rules, about, no, it's rules. stupid. Time travel doesn't work that way. Idiot. Yeah, it's and then not even drop one line to explain it. Yeah. I, I get that. How about you, Will? <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, the concept was solid. I honestly thought that Infinity War was actually... I don't want to say superb, but it was a little bit above average. More... Good. Than Endgame. Um, but Endgame did have its moments. I did enjoy it. It was a very good movie. I love the um, the plot kind of lost... In the, somewhere in the middle, the plot lost me just a little bit. But mm -hmm. then it, near the end, it got me you know, right on track and lost well, you, you like little. Okay. You did fall asleep, so I assume you were... Right. I did fall asleep just a little bit. Um, to be fair, I did tell like aid you in that it is a very long it's movie it is and there are if I, wasn't... I did see it at seven at night so and i, I saw it day at like, that so. i saw it at like 11. yeah i saw it pretty late too i mean if i hadn't like i got a good night's sleep if i was tired like if i had worked in the morning that day and went saw the movie i, I might have i was proud it. of myself i didn't have to pee once during the movie yeah, you never did I? Yep. I never go to the bathroom i need well, to pee but i held it nice a, a true hero mm -hmm. yeah my um, bladder probably gonna hate me in the future yep. oh yeah i mean but, okay Let's talk a little bit about more of the characters then, um, because well, I, I thought, talk like, about the length. well, we can talk about the length all day, but that'll take up the whole podcast. That's what she said. Yeah, the fact yeah, it's too long. It, uh, yeah. It's too um, long. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, it's too long, but then again, it's still wrapping up 22 freaking movies. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's every movie years. wraps themselves up, except for a little tiny thread that leads into the other. It's well, not yeah. saying, like, every 22 movie, I get what all you 22 mean. had plot threads that came back into Endgame. Yeah. It was well, sequential, you know? Like, I get I get that, yeah, we've had, like, 22 movies up to this point. At the same time, though, yeah, it, it's a plot line that's been forged from those plot lines, so it's not like everyone needs a conclusion. Yeah, that's fair. Especially, like, I mean, you but know. But not everyone got a conclusion. That's true. A lot of the people that got conclusions like Thor were didn't ones get a that... conclusion. Um, obviously, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Which yeah, are... but that's because he was just contract. Spider Man yeah. didn't get a conclusion. Um, but they that's because they're going to continue they on. Yeah, they got more movies. Um, what was I going to say? So I want to talk about Iron Man for a second here because I really think the oh. main like highlight of that movie is Iron Man. Yeah, so, I would agree. Um, like that's wrapped up. You mean Tony? <laughs> Tony Stark. Like, they actually successfully wrapped up Tony Stark's character through, like, freaking eight movies. Totally. And had it come to a, a, in my opinion, a mm -hmm. satisfying conclusion for Tony Stark. Yeah. And I think, like, that alone makes the movie worth it for me. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, yeah, there's issues, but it's like, this dude started it all, and they give him the most, like, like consequential ending of, like, all. Like, think about Superman and Batman versus Superman. They're like, oh, we just killed him. And then he just comes back in uh, a terrible Justice League movie, and it's just nothing. Like, it doesn't mean anything when he dies. Yeah, but also don't forget that everything about both those movies is uh, pretty much... We're talking about the Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comparing contrasting it, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. this dude that. is your I'm iconic saying, character. Like, this is your, your head of your universe, and you're just like... You I'm just can... saying, though, that like even if like they had done it in a way that was tasteful and made sense, it still probably wouldn't have been good because the rest of the film was... Yeah. Um, them were, like, Anyway, totally, totally dissonant. Dis I do think that um, that Tony Stark does a like his his arc through all these movies was very sad. Like him sacrificing himself is kind of perfect for him because he was the big ego narcissist from the beginning. Originally, yeah. Um, and he freaking um, I mean, how they had him do it. That obviously it's fan service, but it's like there's nothing wrong with fan service as long as you're. I think like in a post Disney Star Wars world, fan service is looked at very negatively. Mm -hmm. Which is fair, but I also feel like when you actually do something over this amount of time and you get to see things that you've wanted to see for 10 years and you finally get to see it, and it's not like, oh, we just decided to do it because whatever, 
It's like they just did it because they've actually gotten to that point and built these characters. Yeah, it's not time. fan service because they're not just pulling it out of the ether to have it. Yeah, to, like, like they the, the movie would have been know? fine without a lot of this fan service. Mm -hmm. And they did it because they're like, you know what, you guys have stuck with us over this many years. We're going to give you something that you want to see. Yeah, and comparing Infinity War to Endgame in the terms of, you know, fan servicey moments, I think Infinity War was pretty sparse. Yeah, there's like maybe a couple. <coughs> yeah. Um, like, a good way to compare it, I'd say, was between the moment in Infinity War where um, Black Widow and, I think, Scarlet Witch and one of the bodyguards from yeah. Wakanda were fighting one of the children of Thanos, the, the blue-haired girl. I don't remember her name. Blue-haired girl. Or no, uh, blue skin talking? and blue hair. She was the spear. The horns. Yeah. The oh, you mean yeah, the Black yeah. Order. The, Black uh, um, I believe that's Proxima? Yeah, I don't know the names. I, <laughs> I, I know like one, mm -hmm. because they never say their names in this movie, and they're I mean, they vastly were, under like, to, like yeah, they're, opportunity to show. Because they were whole yeah. characters in the, the comic comics, books. As yeah, is every yeah. single character in the entire like, yeah. Marvel. No universe. one's throw away. But anyways, uh, that scene, I felt, was done tastefully as an all-female scene because it wasn't forced, yet the moment at which all oh, every single that scene. female Avenger and just side character, everybody, gets together for their big girl power moment at the yeah, end. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Fights like... each other. They somehow managed to coalesce and collect together in the it's... middle of a battlefield. Just in that one moment. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of funny. I was it's like, like why, why you gotta linger on it? Yeah, like, what? At that. Like, they you could have had them all just, like, fighting together in a scene, after, and I would have yeah, felt there's the There's a difference between the, good the, scenes that are shot well, that show female characters being strong and having well, yeah, female I mean, right camaraderie. Before that, or it's yeah. either before or after that we see um, Thanos Witch. get his ass kicked by Scarlet That Witch. was before. And that was like, totally earned. Yeah, it know? was completely earned. Um, and you're like, that's like that's a good way of doing it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I don't know, it was goofy, because I'm like... What are the odds? It was just they, so ham-fisted, you know? It's so pandering. I mean, and even the, the freaking writer is like, oh, we were going to not put it in because we thought it was kind of pandering, but also we decided to go with that. Like, it is completely pandering. Well, and you shouldn't why pandering hurts things. Like, it's... You don't need to pander to people. Yeah. To, like, but we are we are in the minority yeah. about this you're right. feeling. You know? right. Hey, you're all right. six of you that are watching, let us know in the comments below. Um, So, I mean, Iron Man, Will, once again, you're... You, Get speak up, man. What, 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 how did you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, interrupt us. I know, just listening to you guys, I get my thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think. think. Whoa. Got the thought going on. Oh my know. god. IQ 3000. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Iron Man's character, I mean, I loved, like, all the. I loved that uh, Iron Man 1, 2, 3, and all that other stuff. You liked 2 and 3? I, I like 3. I, I think, say it right now. I think 3 is pretty alright. 3 was actually. nice. I like 3. Um, but his his character, the character of Iron Man, mm -hmm. from being a selfish uh, bastard to being a, I mean, he still kind of was in Endgame, but to because but he had a reason, he had a family, mm -hmm. and he didn't. Well, it wasn't him being a bastard. That was just him, you know. He's he, he being him being caring. Yeah, him defending know? his future because the only thing in the world that mattered to him was Pepper Potts, and yeah. she was still there, so he was able to move on with his life because his life was still there when he got back. No, I'm saying he was a bastard in the first, like, uh, like, first, like, three, two, two movies. Mm -hmm. But he, 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 I mean, he cared about Pepper and he also more, more or less cared about himself more. But, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge that aspect that everything was okay. He lost Peter. Yeah, that. He did yeah, lose that Peter. He did lose Peter. Peter. Yeah, he ignored that. They didn't break him, but he ignored it. That that wound never healed. I, for I him. wouldn't say he ignored it. Yeah, it I mean, definitely. He like, had a picture of Peter, like, and then there's they made a point of him looking at it. Like that's kind of why he decided to go through yeah. the time travel. Yeah, because it was as if he lost his surrogate son. You know, Peter was definitely the, his son the analogy. Thing, the first thing he says when he gets back to him, like I just watched the movie recently. I lost he goes, the, "I lost the I lost the kid yeah. to Captain America." That's the first thing he says. Yep. I thought he said it to... Was it to Cap or was yeah, it, it was to, to Cap? Cap. It wasn't to, to Pepper? No, it was to Cap. Because oh. Cap's the one who goes and helps him right away. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, okay, so now let's let's move on to something non-controversial. Uh, How did you all feel about Captain Marvel? It's like you're uh, trying to make I really bad. liked the scene where Captain America was able to summon Thor's hammer in the preliminary battle. I thought... Uh, actually going to something non-controversial. I thought that was really, 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 
really well earned moment for Cap because it he was. was already so close. He was just there. You know, you could see um, it was in Age of Ultron mm-hmm. when they were all you know around the coffee table just fucking around. You could see Thor sweating in the yeah. background. You know, I think he was, he was worried, but I think because it kind of budges when yeah yeah. yeah. And we, what was it? Um, I think it was somebody brought up. It was Bucky. It was the fact that Bucky was still lost, or he still felt guilty about Bucky that made him. I, redeem himself in his own eyes to be worthy of Thor's power. No, I think um, I don't know if I agree with that, but Kevin, I, Kevin, how's his name pronounced? Kevin, Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige. It's like Kevin Feige. The, is that his name? Kevin Feige. Kevin, yeah. Uh, he said that uh, Captain America was always worthy of it. He just didn't lift it up because he didn't want to like hurt or be like he, he's not prideful, and he was just being humble. So he was even more worthy than he, even more worthy than Thor because he wasn't prideful. Yeah, he just, like. He went to pick it up, and he, he didn't think he could, and yeah. he could, so it budged, and then he stopped, like, and pretended. Okay. Okay. That's supposedly... I, I like that. I, I like mean, that a lot, actually. I think that's it's retcon very... from what Joss Whedon probably had it at, because I think Joss Whedon wanted Captain America to be more bad, because, like, even in, H- in Ultron, he's kind of like, oh, you, you don't have a dark side or whatever, and he's like, oh, you just haven't seen it yet. So, I don't know, I think I, they changed it. I think mm-hmm. that, like, yeah, you could say it's a retcon, but I kind of like that a lot more. I like that explanation more. It's, it's meaningful. And yeah. it plays into Cap's character, too. Because, you know, he is, that. yeah. Like, I, I like that a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, like, obviously people who are fans of the comics, like, got what they wanted. They got to see him with the, the hammer. They, they got to see yeah. Thor with the hammer and the thing. And... Still waiting for Beta Ray Bill, guys. Come on. <laughs> hey, he is cool, though. <laughs> like, I, I'd like to see him. What, Big Bird? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I would like to see him. I think it'd be cool. Every moment I had watching Captain Marvel, I just have to keep asking myself, why do I care? Yeah. You know, are you going to give me well, something to latch on to? Moving that I'd forward, see... because we, you're kind of like taking us away from the Avengers. Right. Um, but like about her character in Avengers, she literally was a plot device. She yeah, shows yeah. up in the beginning to save Iron Man, then shows up at the end to save them all. Yeah. And it, that's all she does as a character. She doesn't contribute at all really to the story at all other than to be a plot but She might as well I, be an Infinity Stone. Again. She's a MacGuffin. Again, though, this was filmed before Captain Marvel, which I think is a dumb decision. Really? In the first it was place. filmed? Yeah, this was yeah, before it was. Captain Marvel? Yeah, all of them. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, I think you made a bad decision here. Mm. Like... I, here's the thing. I don't think including the character in the film, if she was fleshed out mm-hmm. and like given some proper time, would have been bad. Mm-hmm. It's just they didn't. She's here for two scenes, and I'll be honest, she's not very likable in those two not scenes. Besides no. being a badass, which for yeah. some people is enough to make a character a character, but for hey, like Spider Man, got something for me? Some plot maybe? <laughs> that was a good I, scene though. I, I don't know like, how you're gonna be able hey, to Spider-Man. do it, Captain Marvel, if no one else can. I'll show you. Grabs it and then does it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I I don't have to prove anything to you, <laughs> cis white trash. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Okay, hold on. Okay, calm down. Um. Wow. Moving on. Captain America. Um. Once again, this is like these are the areas where I think holds it up for me because like yes, I I agree with the pacing issues and I agree that there's like certain stuff where it's just convenient, like plot conveniences are all over the place. But it doesn't make it a bad movie. The the all. the overall like. I don't, and I don't want to sound cheesy, but the emotional resonance at the end Captain America's ending had, like, specifically when he goes back in time, not necessarily, even the old man scene I thought was mm-hmm. fine, but the part where it's him back in time dancing, and you're like, dude, they freaking That was nice. The first Captain America movie in 2011. It's mm-hmm. like eight years ago. And this is paying off that from eight years ago. Yep. And, like, I was like, um... Uh, really? I, if, if you think about it, it's about an 80-year payoff for Cap. Yeah, you right? Know, Cap's, been, <laughs> Cap's been waiting ten times that long. But that's what I'm saying. And, like, the, the crazy thing is, and I, I think I saw, like, the, the directors talking about this, but it's, like, Captain America is the, one of the ones who people always thought would just die. Like, that's how you end his character. He dies. And it's, like, they're, like, well, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to have him actually get the happy ending. Mm-hmm. Captain America actually gets, like, a satisfying, self-fulfilling ending. Like, because right. he's the most selfless of them all. And he actually gets this, the fulfilling yeah. ending. And I that, mean, I thought it was, oh, sorry to no, cut I was going to say, I mean, yeah, I mean, since the very first movie we've established what kind of character he was yeah he's always been someone who would put himself first or he not you know i yeah yeah, he's a rock the most telling you know he doesn't waver he doesn't change uh, when he covers up the grenade yeah yeah Yeah. when he jumps on the grenade right away they're like this is this dude's character and he literally keeps that throughout the entire Mm -hmm. that's why i love the first movie and i really don't get why uh captain america first avenger is so underrated um people i think like I, I enjoy it. It has some structural issues, I think. But I, I, mm-hmm. I appreciate like, I think a lot of people are turned away by how like, 
it's 1940s cheesy in yeah. like a good way but though. I, yeah, it and was like, meant to emulate people... like the old-fashioned war movies, you yeah. know, with plot and uh, skipping around all these different places, you know, with Cap and his, you know, merry band of men basically yeah. Robin Hooding around Nazi Germany. And that's why I love it though. But yeah, yeah, it's because cool because those... it's, it's just like that. Yeah, that's a great thing. But once again, getting off topic. Uh, right, we can do several episodes about any of this stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm mm-hmm. just, I, I just brought. In relation to how you guys were talking about with Captain America, him being the one that they all thought was going to die, I thought it was really cool that Iron Man got to fulfill his initial purpose. Because remember, after the original Avengers movie, his vision that he kept on having of you know all the shit coming through and not being able to save his friends or his family yeah, or everyone else anybody, him, him dying or everyone else dying but him. It was the exact opposite, and I think that's what really. Uh, uh, sealed his character story arc for me was that it was reversed you know he started off as egotistical and ended up sacrificing himself in a way that was entirely pleasing to himself you know it wasn't a, a hard choice that he had to make for everybody like that was the best outcome I think for Tony Stark I get to save everybody and be the hero in true Tony Stark ego fashion well this is, this is something that I kind of really dug about it um, as opposed to like, so you'll so oftentimes like when a movie or something has a different director, like the Avengers is so many directors and writers in these movies. But like ultimately, at the end of the day, for Endgame, these directors and writers they paid very close attention to every single movie that came before. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I can think of so many games and so many movies where the, the the they just forget about what came before. Like, look at the Transformers movies. I don't know how they do this, but their yeah. lore <laughs> and stories. I mean, I know it's easy to pick at; it's low hanging fruit. Guys, we're getting off track. Let's Don't. look at the Transformers. <laughs> the point is the continuity. The fact that they keep continuity as well as they do is insane. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Thanos then. Um, I hate, I hate him in this movie except for the opening, like the first. Like I, I, he's a different character, and he doesn't feel nearly as relatable this time around because of the fact that we don't have any of like what he was built up to be. It's because they don't have to make us okay with him winning. I think that's exactly why. But, but we all know you're not okay with him winning. I was okay with him winning in a, a fin, uh, Infinity Wars because he was a relatable villain yeah. who had decent, you know, background. I mean, he's still yeah, but, he's still a bastard, yeah. but he was a likable bastard, and I didn't hate the fact that he won. Well, yeah. I like the fact that he won, but I think the difference is, like, in Endgame, it's not about... They've already given us an entire movie about him. Yeah, it's not like, Thanos This, this movie, movie isn't about Thanos. This is about the Avengers. Mm-hmm. So the important thing is Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, which yeah. we should talk about that in a second. But it's it's not about Thanos and his journey because we already saw that. The entire last movie was about Thanos. Yeah. And so it's like this movie, yes, it kind of sucks, but it's like you can't really have your cake needed to because if you focus too much on Thanos, then you lose focus from the Avengers like you did. Like a lot of people complain that Captain America didn't do much in Infinity War um, because... They, they're like, well, he's not priority this time around. He's priority in Endgame, and he did a ton more in Endgame. But it's like... America's ass I was think... front and center. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of the few times I was like, that's a good joke. You did it. <laughs> but, I, I, yeah, I definitely agree. Like, I I guess the only reason I say that like I'm really disappointed with the house is like, performance this time around is because he's just kind of there. Yeah, and, and he was so is. good. Like, he was so good in freaking Infinity War I mean, that it's like, I wanted to see I mean, more of s- that guy. We still make reference to his lines because mm-hmm. they were that good. Like, they were, so many of them were powerful, but also Mimi, and like, mm-hmm. among other things. Well, balanced, yeah. as all things should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so, he said gosh, it. See. I um, am inevitable. Yeah, that one too. Um, so I guess, like, it just feels like you had a character who, yeah, you could have written him again, and I would have liked if he still had that. I want my thing, my Disney Plus Thanos and, uh, series. Do it! I want it all! Do it right now! I want to see Thanos! 20 episodes! I want it now! I want Thanos. Now! I was trying to think of a joke for it, but I don't have anything at all. Thanos with his Thanos uh, Okay, counter. so let's talk about I, Thanos the Thanos casualty. I, oh, I wanted to actually, well, let's, we okay. can do both. I wanted to talk about Ronin as well. So okay, well, actually, that ties right back in what yeah, I'm talking about, boy! Yeah, I know, that's why I'm like, never mind, hello! Okay, okay, before okay. we get into that, I just want to say something about Uh-oh. Thanos. Uh-oh. So, 
You know how, like, when you leave grapes out for, like, a long time and they get all wrinkly? Yeah, yeah. Like raisins? raisins? Yes. No, not like a raisin. It's like, ha it's half fresh, half wrinkly. <laughs> Is this gonna be a That's half all, like, raisin? that's, like, it's, like, yeah, like a half raisin or something oh, like that. I know that's all I see going. when I look at Thanos' face. I see a cow With that raisin. chin and then the bald see, head. See, maybe it's different for me just because I remember the raisinettes, so they don't look anything like that. Uh, that's spectacular. That, that reminds me, have you guys seen Plug the picture editor? of the California raisin with the new painting on it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Yeah, um, moving on. Who would win, Thanos or the Geico Gecko with the Infinity Ronin? Gauntlet? Oh, Geico Gecko. I really, I really wanted to see more Ronin. of Ronan in uh, Endgame. I think he's a very, very cool character. And the whole point of Clint's character, the reason why we didn't see much of him in a lot of the other movies, was because he was so tied to his family. He's always talking about getting back to his family. And it, it felt really odd to me in the sequence with... Uh, Ronan and Black Widow on what was the planet with um, the Heartstone? Um, or they had to sacrifice right. Soul Stone or something like Soul that. No, because the Soul Stone was in Vision's head. No, I, anyways. No, 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 in no, Infinity no, no. War, it was the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone. Yeah. So okay. So it was the Soul Stone. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the reason why I thought that whole scene was a bit weird was because he did have a family to get back to, so it didn't make sense from a fatherly perspective. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To uh. For him to sacrifice himself like that, because he needed to get back to his family. That's been his motivation since day one, was keeping his family safe. So, Spencer, are you trying to say that Black Widow's life isn't as valuable as uh, Ronan's life because he has kids? I'm Is saying... because she's a woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, like... I wish you all were different people. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, anyways, what? continue. All right. But, uh... Oh, yeah, go ahead. I agree, one hundred percent. But like, I guess the problem I have is that the way that we reach that conclusion, you know, where we lose Black Widow instead of Ronan mm -hmm. slash Hawkeye slash Clint, it feels so unnecessary to me. It was like, too long. It was too long, and I it it didn't. I get they were trying to go for like a really strong emotional impact, especially like regardless who we lose, we lose someone. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, I would have felt more if Clint had been lost. Yeah, well, I, and I said the same yeah. thing during Age of Ultron, where you built up this guy's character, and he's just so underutilized. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say a plot device of killing him off would have been really effective. Yeah, it might just be but, that, yeah, some of my favorite <laughs> plot device, or some of my least favorite plot like devices ever are killing off characters for emotional react, or like the emotional shock value. I hate that. I hate that so much. Walking Dead. Yeah, uh, that's why I only got like uh, three, three seasons into don't it. Don't even. Don't but anyways, even. um, I I was really disappointed in how they handled Black Widow's character too. Okay, see, this yeah. is where I'm gonna have to disagree with you mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. Um, Just because I wanted to see more, and I felt like they never gave her. It would have been more emotional for me because, like I was saying, Clint had a purpose and a reason to not die. I couldn't think of any reason for Black Widow to not die. She was aimless, sitting in the Avengers headquarters, eating yeah. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What the fuck was she going to do other than die for a well, purpose? Okay, can I kind of talk about something here that I think they had a life? And this might kind of come up as a hot take. Mm -hmm. I think that the Avengers Endgame did the best job of developing Black Widow's character than any of the other movies. Because it was the only movie that did it. Exactly. Um, uh, her character in this movie is pretty well explained is that she has a family too mm -hmm. and her family is the Avengers yeah. and like she kind of goes into it she's freaking been on her own her entire life and she's been this loner and she like Captain America is having trouble go moving on after the snap she's actually moving on she's she's like still she? happy to be with the people who's with who she's with mm -hmm. the family who she's with um, which is the Avengers what, what's left of them and so you mean the, the scene where she's like crying in the Avengers headquarters eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich was her being happy. She's the one who's telling Captain America to move on when he comes back. Captain America's the guy always telling people to move on. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I mean, she wasn't really crying so much as, like, she was a little upset. But, she was like, a bit weepy. Yeah, like, she wasn't like... <gasps> you could tell she was miserable. She wasn't yeah. wailing. Yeah, she was but not But the point is, she, she talks she about it, it's down. her family, and she's the one who wants to move... Like, she's like, we need to move forward. Captain America's like, I can't move forward. Mm -hmm. He's the one who says, like, I don't know what to do. Like, he's lost at that point well, in the Well, then story. that's weird to me, because she wasn't moving on. What? Yeah. She was just making a sandwich. I mean, people need to eat Spencer. She was living there. She was yeah, living she's there. living at the headquarters, but she jumps around and helps people if she needed to. You, did they ever specify that? 
Well, they don't have to specify everything. They do in fun. the movie. If you're going to make the argument that she was moving on and helping people in the movie, they should show that. She in was the movie. literally running the Avengers. Everybody was reporting to her. They weren't reporting to Captain America. They were re- reporting to Black Widow. So she was pulling a Nick Fury and just taking the Control- occasional. She was running the Avengers. Yeah, she yeah. was pulling a Nick Fury. Sure, she was pulling a Captain America. She was pulling an Iron Man. What happened? Really, you? the Avengers at that point, considering like. They were all off on different planets in in different countries doing things to help people. I think it was more, though, just like... Ronan was more of the Revenger. Yeah. To be fair, such an underutilized character still. Yeah, but we're never going to see him again, so... Which is... it. We will see his daughter, though. They've been talking about yeah. making a Hawkeye spinoff with no. uh, Well, don't they want to do the Young Avengers or something? Like, do they? Something. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there's like some the, the kid like a... would be Iron Lad, and then they'd have... Like, the kid from Iron, Iron Man, Man 3, 3, who was actually in Endgame. Yeah, he was uh, at the funeral. Yep, um, uh, would be Iron Lad, then they'd have... Yeah, that was him. Mm-hmm. You want... No, no, I, I know. Are I... they talking about making Shuri, possibly, Iron Yeah, Man she'd probably be one of them, too. That, mm-hmm. And I... I I don't know, if Spider-Man be a leader or something? I guess, I don't know how it works. Spider-Man be a leader? Dude, they're setting up like Spider-Man that. to be the next Spider-Man. Spider-Man? 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 Spider-Man. Anyways, that's, that's my two cents. I don't know. What do you I mean? So I thought Scarlett you... Johansson did a really good job. So we're um, yeah, she like, I think she did her she... best job yet in these movies. Yeah, she was absolutely... Or she, I think she gave the most depth to her character that we've seen yet. I think she was done enough in this film. Like, I just think that at the end of the day... Having a plot device that forces someone to die mm-hmm. to achieve yeah, the goal I is just agree. like... And if you are going to do it, then make me care that she died. Give her some aspirations and some actual development outside of her giving her life for the cause that makes me feel like, oh no, she could have had a life if she hadn't have done this. You I, know, it, I mean, it would, it's, a tra- it's not a tragedy that Black Widow died, and that's no, what really I, grinds my gears. I'm going to be that guy, though. I think mm-hmm. this actually comes down to the fact that the comic book variant of the characters doesn't have a lot to the character besides I disagree. being a badass. I, I think... Uh, that's kind of an, that's kind of an yeah, like but, a excuse but for the you do have to you do have to transfer things. Like, they do make liberties. Like, Thanos' character has changed so dramatically from... Insanely so, dramatically. Yeah, because like, Thanos did this whole thing in the comment for love just death. to try and get in on Deadpool's GF. Which is so, like, I'm glad that they re... They rewrote that, oh, but yeah. I don't I think feel like they did way anything more with Black Widow in that regard. What? I don't feel like they did the same where, like, I think they could have added more to apparently Black Widow's character. Yeah. But well, what would have helped it more? I guess if it's, like, That's they're going to kill her. Imagine if they had given, instead of Captain Marvel being before her, mm-hmm. give Black Widow her own movie during I would have the five years. I mean, I guess yeah. you would spoil that it's five years later, but imagine, like, five years mm-hmm. while everyone's dead and she's chasing down Ronan. I like, that like would have been the freaking... That would have been no, they really could cool. even still give that movie... You know what that reminds me of? Hmm. A Jason Bourne film. Right? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Jeremy Renier was in... Jeremy that's Renier. what I was, Bourne. That's yeah. what I was getting at. But yeah, Which, like, that I, would be a dope-ass movie. That yeah, would it cool. would have. I want... That's what I want the movie <laughs> to be. That's not what it's going to be. Though. It's going to be gonna some stupid, like... Put the sneeze counter in. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways. Well, you need to say something. Okay, that's good. Anyways. No! Wow. Shut up! (laughs) Wrecked. Cap us off, Will. Give us the closing statement. Yeah, cap us. Okay, so Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Overall, I mean, I feel like I would have cared a lot more if she had a lot more to live for in in Endgame. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care for her as a character that much. I mean, in, in Infinity War... I mean, one, I, it, 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 one thing I hated, the hair. What the hell is up with the hair? What, the blonde? What, the blonde? That was blonde? I thought that was white! No. Well, was it, the, it was yellowy. So the reason with that, she was filming something else. Yeah. Well, no, she was undercover. No, no, they they said that the like the reason why in Endgame, or not... Yeah, but Captain America has a no. beard and stuff. Yeah, but in Infinity War, she legit had like some other acting stuff. Well, that would just work out. That's what they was. It was it a similar thing to like the Henry Cavill thing where I couldn't shave my mustache, so I had to CG my whole lip, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, it was awesome. So good. Uh, CG uh, like, Seriously, the hair, the hair bugs me in Infinity War so bad. Mm-hmm. And well, it, it's I, I I think that's it bugs me. It's bugs just, me. That's just a circumstance. You are allowed to. Yeah, be bugged I mean, by yeah, I am bugged. Like, yeah, you can allowed to be bugged. bugged. I don't think I it really bugged. matters. I disagree. How dare you? But <laughs> okay, you um, want to fight? You want to go? Looks me yeah. that you're bugged. You okay, go? so huh? on to the so should we score the movies we talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but what should but our system be? I don't think it. I think zero is the worst. Pen's the best. IGN ten out of ten. No, I. 
Oh my god. This Haha, man. trendy this man, this man is a Should we use like right rankings here. like that or should we like be I like think, good, great, I don't know, I, stars? I, I, I prefer to use my words you know other what? than a linear star system. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make it different for each of us. We okay. can each kind of like, kind of where we stand. That's fair. Because we all, all right. do it differently. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for movies, I'm gonna stick with stars. If we talk about games, that'll be a little bit different. Okay. Um, it's stars. But I'm gonna be five stars, is what we talked about. And I think Avengers Endgame. Wait, mm-hmm. is this, is this out of five stars? Yes. Um, but I'm gonna, well, no. You know what? I'm mixing it up. I'm ta- I'm breaking the mold. You're doing eight stars. Yes. I'm doing ten 100 stars. A hundred stars. That's double, ladies and gentlemen. And I think Boys Avengers and Endgame wow. is oh. a solid seven. We do more than talk about movies on here. We yeah, teach about it's math. It's a seven out of ten. It's a really high seven out of ten. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it has some major issues in the pacing and stuff that hurt it. And it's like coming as an unbiased like movie critic, it'd be a seven out of ten. Coming as a fan of Marvel would be like a 9 out of 10 or an 8 actually an 8 out of 10 if it's just like a fan even then it doesn't change a lot because I, I it's just a very solid like movie that's not amazing like not mind blowing but definitely good it's not groundbreaking well it's groundbreaking I, I would if argue. you dropped it hard enough I'm gonna they, drop that joke <laughs> anyways well, now Will what, do you, what would you say so honestly Endgame I'd give it um, I would say that it was the best animated film I've ever seen in my life. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> hold on. What? I give it 10 dabs out of 10. Oh, um, God. Don't that's put that in there. there. Oh, that's no, going to no, be put, our... No, no, <laughs> put that in there. We need to hear that you just said 10 dabs out of 10. Oh, um, God. Okay, wait, what is it? Okay, seriously? so, seriously, I would say I would give it four and a half stars out of five. It was a great movie, in all. Um, what? Uh, yeah. So I'd make it a what? nine out of or four and a half out of ten, you said? Four, four and a half, half out of five. five. Oh okay. Jeez, so that'd be a nine out of ten. So um I'd say that I liked the whole movie itself, but the length was a bit um iffy for me. Mm-hmm. There was a bit there was a bit of uh things in the movie that were like dead space I would say, but it did have a meaning Good to franchise. it. Um and honestly it was a great movie, great ending, great beginning. Um so yeah, four and a half out of five. Wow, okay. you know I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use more of like a phrase rather than a, a start because you're breathtaking. <laughs> you're breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, Keanu Reeves, you're breathtaking. Uh, no, uh, I'd say watch it. Like if I were to say something like that, I like, like the whole like it's worth your time. Rent. You know, I like that kind of structure mm-hmm. because it's it's like something of if it's even worth your time at all, mm-hmm. should you invest in it. I definitely say it's something that's worth watching, especially. If like you're someone that's sat around and seen up t- to like this oh, point, well, yeah, you gotta see. Saying. So yeah. that's. But do you think it's worth watching then if you haven't seen any Marvel movie? Uh, I if have... you watched Infinity War, okay. If you, you watched Infinity it, War, yeah. Then go, yeah. If you watched Infinity War and you enjoyed it, then yes, okay. I would say Endgame is worth watching by itself. Starting there, no, no, <laughs> yeah, that no. movie is a mess narratively. If you don't know what's going on. If you get where I'm coming from. Quite literally, the timelines are tied into a wicked, nasty, like, like a headphone yeah. pocket knot. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's not a movie you can watch without some context, mm-hmm. which says a lot about it. I think that's why I'm, like, so blown away that, like, mm-hmm. you know, everyone seems to absolutely adore it when it doesn't stand on its own. No. Without, it's, you without need to, it has to have context I, before. I don't think yeah. that it needs to have stood on its own. It's like because a season it's, finale it's, of a series. That's not true. Only, not only is it the last movie in the series of a lot of context, it is the second part. This is the Deathly Hollows part two to the ending of... Well, I can watch Deathly Hollows part two without part one. I can't watch it. No, you yet. can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm messing with mm-hmm. you, but... I, I guess, like, for me, like, the oh, fact that it's not standalone, elf. it makes it struggle for me. Mm-hmm. I don't get why. That's I, I, under, I can understand that, because, I mean, it's like, you watch Return of the Jedi, I think you can watch that without, you like, watch yeah, it. you're like, Han Solo's in the Carbonite, you might not be way too familiar with who he is at first. Mm-hmm. I think you can 100% watch, like, most Star Wars films without context and still get something out of it. Now, here's something. Ex- except for... If you took something like Return of the King... Could you watch, like, the, no. I think you could watch it, but I don't think it would be nearly as emotionally resonant. Like, you would be you would be lost in a lot of, like, you could watch it and still get something from it, because I think, like, the movie's long enough that you'll, like, the characters, you might be able to get, like, familiar with who they are, but you still wouldn't be able to get enough out of it where you're like, yeah, that was all right, but if you watch the other two movies, you're like, holy shit. <laughs> 
Anyways, Spencer, go up, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I I prefer your grading system a lot more, Sky. I think it's definitely worth your time to watch it. I think it's worth your time to rewatch it at least once because given the the length of time, um, I really do like long form narrative movies. I think that the longer you make something, the better story you can tell. You can, not that you will or yeah. that it's easy, but. Yeah. I think that with the three hour timeline period, they did a good job with showing a lot and every single possible angle, you know, in order to get back to certain things. They kind of had to invent some things or go back to locations, like uh, when they went to the S.H.I.E.L.D. base back in the 70s. and That was uh, a wonderful sequence. Oh, Stark had that sequence. little bit with his dad. I really thought, thought that it was heartwarming. Worth your time, definitely. You need to watch it more than once to get everything out of it, but I think the directors and the writers I think, want you to. I think it is worth two watches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Despite me saying... I think it's worth your money, I should say. It's worth being... Or it's worth paying money to watch it twice. Yeah, and if, I, like, you have the Avengers but movies, don't buy Like, it if it's a series right. you follow, of course you're going to buy it. You don't need anyone to tell you to watch it or buy it anyway. But I do think it is a movie worth owning if you have Infinity War. Like, I don't think you need to have all the Avengers movies. But if you have Infinity War and this as a set, I think, like, those, that's a good set to own. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can get the whole collection, and then you can take Captain Marvel out and use that as a coaster for your drink <laughs> while you watch the rest of them. I, I do have one thing to say, though. Mm. Since Captain Marvel came out before Endgame, mm -hmm. I was wondering how much I would get out of watching, uh, out of watching, uh, you know, Endgame not without, you know, the Cat Marvel movie. Yeah. Literally, I lost nothing. And yeah. I did eventually go on to see it. I saw it recently. I did finally watch it. I didn't care, except maybe about the scrolls. They were the only part I cared yeah. about. Anyways, and even then... All discussions for other times. Um, is there a specific form that well, we need? Yeah, or yeah, any no, movie? It, any Anything? movie. But we, we have to start with one of us to go first, and then we take turns starting okay. with whoever goes all first. Alright, you know what? Let's Princess go. Mononoke. How about that? Uh, dude, why? Are we saying okay? Wait, are we saying Spencer's mean? gonna go first then on recommendations? Is that fine? That's fine. Okay, so right. you're going first and you recommend first. Princess, Princess Mononoke. Mononoke. It's another long-term fiction with really good, relatable villain characters and a pretty wide span, open-ended ending like message or theme that is prevalent throughout the entirety of the movie. Okay. It, yep, it's a Ghibli film. Very good. I have to definitely agree. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch what he recommended the next week. Oh, is that right? You oh. can recommend it, then Will, then me. And so Why on. you got to give them the best <coughs> one first? Because you got to start on the best. Yeah, you got to hook them in. Yeah, but you also... You... I started on a castle in the sky, man. If you start, yeah. Anyways, that's a great recommendation <laughs> from Spencer here. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Mm. Prince Mononoke that's a good is probably a terrible movie. movie. I don't know. The point is, uh, thank all four or five of you for joining. Um, hopefully you got something out of this. Thanks, we man. definitely got nothing out of making it. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is Basil. Wait, I'm am I still getting paid? No. And that's Sky, sir, and that's Spence Sky. And we're signing off on the I'm Commuters not getting paid. podcast. We're the Commuters. I'm not See you next paid. time.